December is coming up and everyone's excited to get their 13 month bonus. I mean, 13 month pay. So what is that? How is that different from the Christmas bonus? Because there's completely different. Completely different, uh, mainly because 13 month pay is mandated by law. Um, er anyone and everyone who employs somebody more than uh, three months is required to allocate a 13 month pay, whether this is a regular employee or a contractual employee. So, um, 13 month pay is an active source of income, meaning an individual needs to serve some period of time to earn the 13th month pay. It's not an automatic just because you're an employee, you will get a full amount of uh, one month salary for your 13th month pay. It's prorated on the number of months in the year. Mm -hmm. If you've completed 12 months, then uh, you get a full tax-free 13th month pay up to 30,000. I, I mentioned tax because we just had the commissioner. Mm -hmm. I think only up to 30,000 is tax-free. Is tax-free. Uh, but uh, you have to conf confirm that. I'm kind of afraid of the commissioner. Okay, Kim and Agnes. Okay, I guess the more important question also now is how do people, will people spend or how can they spend it wisely? Yes, uh, that's a very common question uh, we get from the Colaico Foundation. Um, this season is very, this 13th uh, month pay, the season is very unique. Um, it's a season where you, you are somehow given a right to spend and splurge because it's Christmas to buy gifts, uh, get into some activities and visit places. But uh, actually, this is the time if someone has or wasn't able to really save and invest from January to uh, December of the year, this is a time, an opportunity for that individual to really recover or uh, get into some saving and investing uh, because you get an extra month's pay. But uh, since it's been here for the longest time, um, it has, it's always being seen as your resources, additional resources to get into additional spending. Um, three things that you can look at uh, with reference to your 13-month uh, pay. It can be for your saving and investing if for the year you have not uh, done so. Uh, it can be for uh, paying debts, um, credit card, and uh, other balloon payments that you may want to do to uh, lessen your uh, liabilities. And of course, for uh, Christmas spending. Uh, do not look at the 13th month pay only for the last item, Christmas spending. Uh, for saving and investing, paying off debts, and uh, Christmas spending. How much saving and investing do you think um, should they put away, put aside for um, in that 13-month pay? Um, if one wasn't able to save for the whole year, Dapat the whole amount uh, should have been. But uh, I know it's very easy and I will sound like a Scrooge if I tell them to save all the 13th month pay. Um, half to 70% of your 13th month pay for your splurging during Christmas. Oh, hopefully you get to spend it really wisely. Um, that's why I prepared some spending tips during Christmas. Okay. Uh, first, make a list. It's not only Santa who makes a list of who's naughty and nice, but also us. Who are we going to give a gift to? Why? Sometimes we, we just, we're, we're careless why we are giving uh, to someone. Uh, your budget, your allotted budget, and uh, um, what is the particular item. Part of the list are the activities that you will get into during the holidays and places to go. Um, another uh, uh, spending tip is start early, uh, start as early as now to uh, uh, shop around. Separate your shopping day with your buying day. Uh, we all know about the term window shopping. Mm -hmm. On shopping day, move around, check out the products you will, or items you may want to uh, buy as gifts. But do comparison shopping. Uh, have two, three, four items uh, for a particular product or particular item. Uh, uh, so you will have some options or choices. Uh, do not ever get into impulsive buying. Mm -hmm. Um, on another day, do all the buying on a, on, on a particular day. You spend about an hour, an hour and a half in the mall just for buying. No more shopping around. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, one tip, uh, because we always bring our kids when we do mauling, uh, one effective tip, uh, I read this somewhere and I've proven it to so many clients, uh, the psychology of money. Do not bring your kids to the mall with an empty stomach. <laughs> because when, uh, even even adults, even adults, adults, even adults when you go on an empty stomach, you, you get to be more acquisitive. You get to be more pointing to things that uh, you don't really need, but you would eventually buy. Uh -huh, so, but an empty stomach, uh, someone who is uh, really, you know, so uh, goes to the mall uh, would be more rational uh, right, than uh, right. than. Uh, 
uh, acquisitive. And of course, uh, do not forget the reason of the season. Uh, more than the more than the presence that we may be getting, it's the presence of the reason of the season why uh, why we have this holiday season. Um, for kids, if we have small kids, because uh, that's somehow where the pressure comes from. Mm -hmm. um, for for one to ten years old, they're more concerned about opening a number of presents, not really the quality. The content, yeah. uh, you know, if they have three, four, five, six items to open on, on Christmas Eve or, or uh, Christmas morning, they're more happy with that. Uh, for those 11 to uh, 16 years old, it's something that, uh, uh, whether negatively or, ba or positively, something that they can show their friends. So peer pressure comes in. Um, 18 and above, something that they can, that they can really use. It may be one item, but uh, an item that uh, they will use for the rest of the year or even uh, for the rest of their lives. Which brings me to a point, uh, parents can, uh, or ninongs, can uh, give a present na bank account or an investment account. You know, and this, this will not uh, uh, have an effect only for December 2013, but probably for uh, the rest of the life of the ina anak. So, uh, uh, opening a bank account for someone, for, for an individual, uh, seven year olders and up can already have a bank account. Mm -hmm. So, it's not so bad to, to give a bank account. Imagine handing over a, an ATM card or a passbook to a seven, eight year older, and they get to be aware of the financial world more than the physical world or the internet world. That These are great into. tips. Now, I have a personal question. Is it, let's like, say you're shopping and you can't find a gift? for someone, let's say kids, is it okay to give them, is it smart to just give them money? Um, I would suggest put it, in, in a, put it in plastic money, not credit card. Open a cash card for them so that they will get to view money not just as a spending tool. Oh, that money can question. also be placed somewhere, not just in the cash register of a store or a, or a mall. That uh, there's an institution like banks or also investment houses uh, that can accept their money so that they can buy at a later time. Uh, the problem with kids and adults, more so adults, is immediate gratification. Once we get our 13th month or our money, you know, every 15 day, uh, every payday, is always uh, payday. <laughs> we, we get to be a millionaire in a day. <laughs> Um, well, and these are good tips for yeah, you. Yeah, I should have told my Nino to open me a bank account when right. I was a kid. Make your list, and, and when you go the to the when there. you go to the mall, you have to yeah. focus. It's and, really and, it's really a skill. And as our Christmas said, shopping, it should be busog. You because that's eat, true. The reason focus. I'm laughing because it's really true. You get to buy more in the groceries when you're really hungry. So, a really good tip, good reminder. Uh, right. Another gift, like a gift suggestion. Uh, this is a uh, very good for uh, more so siblings or those with coming from. A big, big family. family okay. um, deed vouchers. When we're familiar with gift checks, gift vouchers. Uh -huh. Do uh, deed vouchers. I saw this with an OFW family who's very malaki talaga in, in, in a compound and they're like 12 to 18, I think, in the family. Um, they exchange, not promissory notes, they exchange uh, notice of promises where uh, I will give you a massage or I will do a special errand for you that I hate doing but you always want me to do like clean your car or bring you here or there so deed ah, vouchers deed. what Something I had in mind was like lots like, deed, <laughs> deed, <laughs> deed, 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 deed sale of deeds good deeds, deeds, okay. deeds, yeah, deeds like vouchers. I'll do the laundry for you I or... think I'm gonna give you a deed voucher deed <laughs> No, I'm thank just kidding. You. No, thank you. What are you, you, you making me do? <laughs> okay. No, but these are great tips. Thank you so much thank for you. for coming in today thank and you. giving us these tips. We can surely use it, and I'm sure everyone else in the audience. Thank you. Um, that was uh, our guest today, Armand Benko of the Colaico Foundation.